I'd like to welcome everybody to our 2021 Irish flag raising ceremony on the morning of what would have been the annual American Irish Association of Woodbridge St. Patrick's Day Parade. But of course, as we know, that's uh, been canceled this year. Uh, let me start this uh, program by bringing up Deacon William Lang from St. James Roman Catholic Church for the invocation. It's always it's my great privilege to gather with my Irish American friends. And I know on this bright, sunny day, we had hoped to do a little more, but we should be thankful given the challenges of the time that we can gather at least together and pray and commemorate St. Patrick. And in the spirit of St. Patrick, Lord God, we remember today the great gift of your spirit among us, not only through the witness of St. Patrick, but also through the witness of so many of your blessed people who call your beautiful creation Ireland, their land, the land of their birth and that of their ancestors. Filled with your spirit and inspired by St. Patrick and all the nameless saints who have called Ireland their homeland, may we celebrate today with great joy and give you thanks for your many blessings upon Ireland and her children and her many friends. And so, Lord, blessed are you, Lord God of mercy, who through your Son gave us the marvelous example of charity and the great commandment of love for one another. Send down your blessings on these, your servants, who so generously devote themselves to helping others. When they are called in on in times of need, let them faithfully serve you and their neighbor. And we ask these blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Deacon. I'd now like to turn the show over to our official bagpiper of Woodbridge Township, Mr. Paul DeLeo. I'd like, I'd like to introduce the uh, president of the American Irish Association of Woodbridge, Eddie McSherry, a, a guy who does such amazing things for this community. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago when uh, Frank Kilmurray was coming home from the hospital and they decided they wanted to get a ramp up. In, in 48 hours, Ed had a whole crew out there, built the ramp, sized it up, had everything perfect. Uh, for one of the members of the American Irish Association, Fran Kilmurray. Uh, he does that for everybody all over town, uh, Eddie and the Rampers. He's got a crew that just come up whenever they need him. Uh, he does it. He's, he's always out working on the islands and the, and the flowers and the shrubbery, and, and you see him every place. Uh, he's worked for the town for almost 30 years now. He's an outstanding citizen. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Irish Association, Mr. Eddie McSherry. Hello everybody, good morning. Uh, in lieu of the parade, I think this is great that we're all together um, for ceremonial raising of the flag, uh, the parade for food in place of the, uh, the parade itself, which is showing the American Irish are able to get out there still and help the community, do things for the community. And that's kind of what we need to do now, not meet or have parties or dinners, but you know, use our assets and, and our people to help the community. So with that, uh, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for your donations of food and money. Uh, great success. And I appreciate uh, everybody coming out uh, on this morning. Thank you very much. OK, if the officers could come up, I'd like to present a proclamation to the association. Sean O'Neill, Vice President, Jim McFadden, Parade Chairman, Ben Campbell, Parade Vice Chairman, Jack Cassidy, Sergeant at Arms, Cindy Jakovinich, Treasurer. I'd like to present this proclamation. 
whereas the American Irish Association of Woodbridge do, is devoted to preserving and maintaining the rich history of Irish American heritage in Woodbridge and has accomplished sterling work in sponsoring community events, programs, and charitable fundraisers for the benefit of the Woodbridge community. And whereas the Feast of St. Patrick each year provides an opportunity for the American Irish Association of Woodbridge and residents with Irish heritage to celebrate their rich Irish history, culture, and traditions. And whereas the American Irish Association, in concert with the township, proudly raises the national flag of Ireland in honor and recognition of the township's Irish forefathers. If you guys could hold the proclamation and have Megan take a picture. I'd like to introduce some of the elected officials in the audience. We have First Ward Councilwoman Nancy Drum, uh, Third Ward Councilman Corey Spiller, Councilman at Large Greg Ficara, Councilman at Large and Council President Brian Small. From our Board of Ed, we have Dan Harris. And from uh, Middlesex County uh, Freeholder Board, we have Charlie Kenny. And from the 19th District, we have Assemblywoman Yvonne Lopez. Okay, we will have uh, Grand Marshal Charlie Kenny come up and raise the flag. Ask Glenn Slavin to sing the Irish and the American National Anthems. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everyone. So that we may honor America, would you please join me in the singing of our National Anthem? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the the home of the brave. Thank you. <clears throat> and so that we may honor our ancestral homeland, would you please join me in the singing of the Irish National Anthem? I'll sing you a song, a soldier song, with cheering, rousing chorus. As round our blazing fires we throng the starry heavens o'er us, impatient for the coming fight. And as we wait the morning light, here in the silence of the night, we'll chant a soldier's song. Soldiers are we whose lives are pledged to Ireland, some have come from a land beyond the wave, sworn to be free, no more our ancient Ireland shall shelter the despot or the slave. Tonight we'll man the banner well, in Aaron's cause come woe or we'll mid cannons roar and rifles peal we'll chant a soldier song there thank you thank you Glenn Deacon Lang would you please 
uh, come up for the benediction. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we conclude our celebration of our Irish heritage today, remember that that heritage is based on a saint, a saint whose spirit did not waver in the face of adversity, and that that spirit lives on in us all through our heritage and through our service to others here as we gather today. And so may the Lord bless and protect you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you, show his countenance to you, and give you peace and mercy. Amen. Thank you, Deacon. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. And now we'll wrap it up with Paul DeLeon.